so hello everyone good to see you again <laughs> so we are continuing over the last video because uh, we had to create few symbol so uh, video wise video we are creating those so still we uh, we are left with few symbol to create so in this video we need to cover the symbol you are seeing on the screen right now so we had uh, created this symbol in my last video if it didn't uh, watch my last video you missed out so go and check the description below down there you can find the link of this video so let's start okay so today in this video the first symbol I'm going to create that is basic home symbol okay so what you have to do is it is very simple get a square and then copy this by dragging up there by holding alt key to keyboard okay so let's stretch this stretch this horizontally means scale it horizontally and uh, i just want to make uh, just let's add a point over here you have to make sure you are in the center let's add let's get rid of this okay so we have created actually a uh, arrow symbol maybe a rocket <laughs> so let's make it look like uh, somewhat a uh, hot kind of home kind of symbol okay okay let's i think it, this point has been uh, has been much i think let's let it take let's take down okay take a little, little bit up okay <clears throat> okay so let's select both the shape and make them one okay so i think uh, the thickness of the stroke has been too much let's take it a bit down like so okay so what i have to do is i have to create a door so let's create the door with the help of rectangle tool so make it to the center whenever you whenever you are seeing some guideline which uh, which actually allow you to be uh, in the center so you now you have to drop it the size of the door i think has been too much in the height so i think let's reduce its width as well a bit so select both the shape and the press control M to uh, access the shape builder tool and holding alt key on your keyboard and then press and, and drag it to get rid of this so we really want to have ventilation or a little window so we can have it so you can have such kind of shape maybe you can go for other shape like uh, so let me walk you through what we can create more so actually uh, when you when it comes to design anything there's a lot of way if you keep working and if you if you keep practicing and exploring then you will uh, explore so many way by your own so select all the shapes select all the so <clears throat> so let's uh, decrease uh, size size actually all together and select uh, left uh, one corner of this another corner of this one and click and drag this small circuit okay i think uh, gap is not going very well <clears throat> take sorry let me So you can place here and let's uh, mm, I'm going to copy it okay so I'm just going to select these I'm going to give other color and let's get rid of the stock so I think uh, let's get, decrease the gap in between that's okay I think uh, select this one. 
turn uh, switch the fill current the stroke select all the uh, shapes all together as shape uh, take similar tool and delete these so this is how you can uh, make um, home symbol so the next symbol which we are going to create a contact person symbol so let's do it first we have to create a contact person uh, face shape so i think we should go and create a ellipse vertical ellipse so here we need to take these two point and take them upward a bit and uh, select and drag it down so drag it to the drag it up to this point okay little bit and the same here take this point out a bit take this point out a bit i'm using actually arrow key right left right arrow key on my keyboard you can go and utilize that as well move those point up a bit okay so this is going to be uh, the face of that symbol now we need to create a uh, chest part actually so let's create circle so make sure it is in the center okay take it down i need to create something like this there must be the here must be the shoulder left and right shoulder okay in case it size we can now uh, no not like this side actually okay so select select this point so drag the handle upward little bit and same here if you are finding uh, the changes uh, which are have been which are being here that does not being here in the same mode what we can do is in the end we can we can uh, just get it of uh, half part and the rest of the half part we can copy and mirror so let's uh, do it here like so okay let's uh, do the same here now let's take one more circle okay i think we should increase its size horizontally actually so this is how we have to change the color okay select this circle and this one let's take a shape builder tool and let's get rid that rid of this shape Okay, I hope you are getting uh, the way I am creating it. I hope you are understanding how you can also create. Um, it is better if you follow along me. So uh, now I am going to create actually tie. Okay, so I am going to create this one, and actually I need to have a V V kind of cut from this one. this I'm going to copy it because I will need it as well so let's keep it here in the center so grab it from the center and okay So let me uh, let me tell you how to uh, make the thing center to the other thing. So select this one and select this one because what we want we want this to be center of this one. So first you have to select this one, then select this one. Now you have to let the uh, illustrator know which one uh, gonna be uh, main object. Okay, I think uh, click uh, hold Alt key and click on this. So now you can see this has been highlighted. That means this is the main on, on, uh, object on which this one gonna be center. So here you can come to the align. Here you can align it horizontally. Okay, this is how you can align. So select both the shape together and take a shape builder tool and let's get rid of this part. And now take this. Uh, we are going to create actually 
<clears throat> buy okay so select this one i think uh, by just reflecting it uh, vertically we'll have a tie actually <laughs> so this is how we can move forward with this so like both the shape and let them to be let them to be center to each other i think so like this one this one make it highlight and something going on wrong actually so i'm manually doing it so what we can do is uh, pick this from this point and snap here now we can take it up okay that's so simple now take this point here shift it a bit to the left and so select this one add this red uh, black color move so, so let's create a bow over here a little bow so for this what we can do is create a ellipse and uh, okay with the help of shape uh, with the help of a uh, uh, anchor point tool actually shift c <laughs> i forgot its name actually so we can click in the center and again drag and here the same click and again drag so this part should be broad okay select this one and this one take to like so copy reflect <laughs> looking so strange actually we need to add it somewhere here take this up and take this up as well here we need to actually we what we need this point to be go right a bit so i think it should be look like this so keep editing until you get the proper shape only this can help you make a better design the more you go and tweak design the more you uh, have a better shape So now we can press O and click here and reflect. You can have a uh, like this also, but I don't like personally actually. So I'm going to do something else. Which can we, which actually we find appropriate. So it should look a little professional. Okay, it looked like we tied tied a ribbon over here <laughs> in such a way that is looking well like a bow. But what I'm going to do is instead we can have a little up there. So. We can have the uh, same size of circle as this one. Okay, I'm going to utilize this one. This is looking so cool actually. Okay. Here at point one point like this. And uh, like this. So what lastly what we can do is I think take it down it has been so much gap here create a circle circle and let's uh, let's let's uh, let's allow it to have just stroke color okay so 
appropriate size line up will be appropriate <clears throat> I think we need to increase its size even more. That's correct. So in today's video, we have created this one and uh, this one. Okay. I hope you understood how to create symbol. Thank you. Bye. I hope you liked my video. If you found this video very useful and lucrative to you, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe my channel if you didn't. And do let me know what you have learned from my today's video. I'm going to see you in the next video very soon with a new tool, maybe new concept. Thank you.